Hi everybody, I'm Danny. And I'm Donna. And we'd like to welcome you all back to the channel. We are Forever Dreaming. Today, we're taking you guys along for a very special, pretty badass waterfall hike. So we're at Mini Fall, Minnehaha Falls in Raven County. And today, <laughs> what am I supposed to say? It's something special. <laughs> <laughs> today is really special because this is where we got married, October 10th of last year. So we really like this location. So stay tuned. We're going to show you all a really cool waterfall. Thanks for uh, watching with us. Okay, we just passed uh, the Nakuchi uh, hydro plant, which is basically the dam that Georgia Power runs up here in the mountains on this side of Seed Lake in the Tacoa. I'm sorry, the Tahula River. And um, that's how people get their power up here is from the, the hydro plant. So um, that supplies all the area up here with power. They shut the the dam down when the season is over basically the season is is from memorial day to labor day and um, once the season is done um, that's when they try to do the maintenance on the hydro dam and they they'll shut the water to, uh, from going down the dam down to the river and so they can get access to all the hydro uh, turbines i guess and uh, do their maintenance so that's a little backstory of why the river is so so low Turn right, then prepare to park your car. You will need to walk to your destination from there. Turn right. Proceed to the route. Right there. Yeah, that's it. We're the Proceed only to ones the route. here. Okay. There's many Ha Ha Falls Trail. This is a really easy trail. It takes about uh, 10 minutes. And the trailhead is right here. That's where you really park at. That's it. So if you come up here during the season, which would be from Memorial Day to Labor Day, if you're not here by like 8 o'clock in the morning, you're not going to be able to see this because there's just no other parking. All this other stuff is just private property and you, there's no other parking. So this is it. So you got to get here early to see this trail. And like I said, this is a really easy trail, so no matter what your age or if you got kids, you should be able to do it. All right, we're on our way up. Going up the stairs here. It's not too bad. Right now, it's kind of, uh, what's today? November the 4th, I think? 4th. November 4th. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning, about 56 degrees out. And it's got a slight misty rain going on, so it's not too bad. The leaves have pretty much hit their peak, which about a week ago. So if you come up here to North Georgia Mountains and you want to see the leaves, it's really the it's really the last two weeks of October if, and maybe the first week of November, but it peaked early this year. So the leaves are already starting to fall, as you can tell behind us. It's really pretty. Do recommend uh, you do wear some type of hiking boot or shoe because it can be quite slippery here. Um, I wouldn't recommend flip flops or nothing like that or tennis shoes with really you know smooth soles. You want something that grips a little bit because you do go up some of these right here tree root things. So, Donna's back there behind us. I think this is like a half a mile. It takes on the average like 10 minutes to do it. So, this is bear country. So, we have black bears here, and this is right before they go into hibernation. So, uh, I don't typically carry bear spray up here, but we do carry self-protection, if you can read between the lines. Um, but black bears are pretty much skittish, unless they have 
cubs. And this isn't cubbing season, that's after hibernation. So you pretty much probably won't see them unless you, you know, come up on one feeding. But just be aware that this is a black bear country. So we are continually going up. Behind me, you can see the trail. And like I said, if you have little kids, this is not a bad hike. You do go up an elevation, but not too much. And Donna will show you how the trail is up here towards uh, watching your step and why I recommend that you do not wear flip-flops or smooth-soled tennis shoes because you will bust your ass. To the right of us, right over there, you'll see cabins and that's private property on the other side of the creek. But this is one of the, the more accessible and beautiful waterfalls up here in North Georgia. And if you like to hike and you like waterfalls, up in these mountains, they're all over the place. You literally could do a different waterfall hike every day of the week for a month and not run out of things to do, all within an hour's drive of wherever you're camping at. Um, this is one of the, our favorite areas, and this is where we have our cabin, that is up here by Helen, Georgia. And uh, well, me and Donna first started dating, I brought her up here and we go in the woods and uh, go camping for seven to 10 days and go trout fishing and taught her how to trout fish. And she, she can clean them and cook them. She says, I wanna eat one. I said, well, if you wanna eat one, you're gonna learn how to clean it. And then I'm gonna show you how to cook it. And there you go. So I can start here in the falls now. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. I'll be quiet for a second. So I don't know if you can hear the waterfall, but uh, they sent us these microphones to uh, do a review on. What do we got? Hollyland Lark M2s. That's what you're wearing and I'm wearing. And then I've got an extra one here for my DJI that I'm using for this thing. So I don't know if y'all remember, but or saw the other video, but we were down in Florida and we got hit by the hurricane and we lost probably 90% of our YouTube recording equipment and uh, Hollyland was really nice enough to because uh, that's who we Hollyland right yes Hollyland uh, was really nice enough to uh, uh, replace our other ones with the the new these new button ones and they're really cool and uh, so we're we're testing them out today for the first time to see how they actually work and then she's going to be Donna's going to be doing the review because she's the tech geek here on uh, on on what these are if she would recommend them or not. But so far they seem to work really well. We're actually getting more equipment coming in. We replace our stuff that got lost in the flood. We're getting a new DJI uh, Mini 4 Pro drone to replace our other drone that got lost in the flood and some more gimbals coming in. So right now I'm using this old selfie stick for my camera. So that's why it's a little oh, wobbly. But, uh, but anyways, we're making do with what we have until we get stuff coming in. Do you want to go down there, babe? I do. Ah, looks a little, let's see if I can not slip with all the leaves. My grippy shoes are doing good so far. Is it slippery? Um. I'm assuming it would be. I'm just trying to take it real slow. Yeah, there's um, there's a lot of leaves and stuff right there. So we didn't bring our <laughs> trekking poles because we, didn't really, we don't really need them for here. But because it has been kind of raining for the last couple of days, the leaves are kind of slippery. So 
if you're not careful, you'll step, the leaves are coming up like the trail where the mud's at, and you will slip. Oh, the water's so clear. So pretty. This is just a little waterfall right there. And if you go up here, let's see if I can get over there without busting my butt. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. It's been a while since we've been on a waterfall hike. So this is kind of cool to be back. Oh, okay. There we are. Isn't that pretty? Goes around the corner there. This is the runoff from the waterfall that we're getting ready to go see in just a minute. It's really pretty. What are you doing over there? I'm, um, I'm trying to see waterfalls. <laughs> Wave your hands so we can see you. Okay, now I'm gonna attempt to get back. I, um, I think the way I came is probably the best way. I'm coming back the way I, uh, I I'll came. I'll meet you back down there. Yeah. Make sure to go back down there. All right. In case she falls. Try not to get my shoes wet. Uh, watch out over here. This uh, bridge right here is kind of rickety. Okay. Right there where I just caved, stepped it caved in, so be careful. Okay, I'm not stepping on the same boards as you. If you go onto the state land and stuff like that, this is kind of state land, but it's not maintained by the forest rangers or the state rangers. It's made by private individuals. That, you know, and they come out here, they'll have put it on Facebook that they're doing a cleanup of for instance, uh, Minnehaha Trail, and no people will meet out here to, to keep it picked up because this is one of the, 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 the good areas of tourism, um, the trout fishing and the hiking. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you that you will see these kind of signs everywhere up here. So, and most of them are around the waterfalls, so they don't want you to be stupid and um, climb the waterfalls like I had to do one time before we got married because my crazy wife, girlfriend <laughs> at the time, fiance, whatever, took the drone and was trying to get drone shots of the waterfall. And I kept saying, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I said, you're getting too close. Next thing you know, she crashed it into the waterfall. Oopsie. And I, <laughs> and I had to do. I said, how are we getting it? She just looked at me and says, I'll go get it. I said, yeah, like any man's gonna let his wife climb up a waterfall. But I woulda. Yeah, you woulda, <laughs> but I did it. And I tell you what, she don't, I don't let her forget it even to no, this day. She no, he doesn't. <laughs> so now I'm gonna turn this thing around and kind of show you some different spots. So the waterfall's really opening up here. This is kind of what I'm talking about with being careful of how you're walking. So most of this kind of stuff has got steps out. Kind of to show you the, the hiking shoes that I'm wearing. And I can't show you the, the they're almost like cleats. What are these called? H-U-M-T-T-O. And uh, I'm giving a test out. This is the first time I've worn them. And so far, they're almost like wearing Skechers with, uh, and they're waterproof. They're really nice. All right, I'm gonna be quiet and let you look at the waterfall. Isn't that beautiful?
I was afraid with the water level being so low that there wouldn't be much water coming down the waterfall, but it's still beautiful as it was when we got married. We were able to do some beautiful pictures here. Here on that ledge is where Donna crashed the drone and I had to climb. I had to go all the way up and climb through the woods to get to that ledge. And let me see if I can zoom in to show you the ledge. So right there is the ledge. It's a, it's a flat area where the water comes down and that's where she crashed it. And the, 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 the drone was actually okay. It still worked and everything. But my gadget girl. So right in this area, <laughs> why you got your head all tilted? <laughs> right in this area, in this little this spot right here married. is where we got married. And it was a beautiful backdrop. Come on, yeah, y'all can come on up. We're just YouTube and stuff. <laughs> and this is where we got, got married, right here on this, this ledge right here. And we'll put some pictures of what that looked like.